Hi YouTube, this is a short video um, to show my new and improved ram guide on my 50 pound guided health hammer. Um, the old ram guide was just a simple uh, front plate that bolted to the back plate and I had uh, parts of uh, kitchen boards, kitchen cutting boards, um, cut into slabs to take up the, the space on either side of the ram and I had a problem with it uh, wearing out and the adjustments weren't very precise so you know I would get the get the adjustments all set the, what little bit of adjustments it had basically just friction and then after about an hour or two worth of running the power hammer the the ram would be all wobbly and it would it would float back and forth like this really bad um, this one's got a little bit of float right now but uh, that's because I really haven't run it since I, I made this new ram guide. Um, the ram guide is just a piece, looks like about, uh, I think it was three by, three by five and a half or so inside rectangular portion. So what I did was I, I bolted it up to the, the old back plate. And then there's uh, adjustment screws. There's two on this side two on this side, four here, plus the greasing system, and then since it is bolted up to the back plate with the two bolts on either side, you can also shim it this way or that way. So it's a, a really good way of, of making a ram guide. And then um, what we have, let me get the camera down here. What I have here is, uh, this is the, of course the outside of that rectangular tubing, and then inside that rectangular tubing there's a steel plate, and then on the other side of that plate is the, uh, the ultra hollow molecular weight plastic stuff that I got from McMaster Car. So these holes right here in the tubing, they're uh, tapped to accept these bolts and then you've got a lock washer and a nut on each one of them. So you can loosen up that nut and then tighten in those bolts and they'll push on that steel plate and in turn push on the plastic uh, to get the you know to get it adjusted to where it's got just enough slack to where it'll move freely um, but not wobble all over the place. This one I'm pretty excited to see it uh, in action tomorrow. I spent probably oh, two or three hours yesterday afternoon building this whole setup and then today had to finish out some knives so tomorrow I, uh, is a forging day so I'll fire it up and then as I'm running it I'll go ahead and adjust each one of these to take this what little bit of slack is in there out and as it runs in and it should be a, a much better setup than what I had anyway hope you enjoyed it